This is a Hasselblad 2000 FC camera. It had a jammed shutter and I tried changing batteries and uh, tried several different troubleshooting steps but nothing got it to work again. There was nothing visibly wrong with the shutter though and I believed that it was mechanically intact. So I decided to disassemble the camera and see if I could repair it on my own. Unfortunately there is very little information online about how to disassemble or repair these cameras. The 200 series Hasselblad cameras are known to be difficult to work on. They have a very delicate titanium shutter. The shutter curtains are thin foils of uh, titanium metal. They are apparently easy to rip and if you manage to rip one then the camera is pretty much dead. They don't make these uh, shutters anymore so uh, getting spare parts is pretty much out of the question. I was uh, pretty pessimistic about my chances of re actually repairing this camera. So uh, I took it slow and uh, recorded everything that I did. I was hoping that if I managed to repair it I could uh, refer back to my videos to see how everything fit back together again. And luckily I managed to get the camera working and uh, reassembled. I'm super happy that I actually got it working again. So far I have shot one test roll with the repaired camera and it worked fine. One thing that uh, works differently now with the camera is that the ratcheting mechanism for the winding knob has been uh, removed. I removed this because I saw that the, uh, the teeth on the ratchet gear were stripped, at least partially. I worked on this camera during the evenings over the course of about two weeks. Most of that time was spent trying to figure out how the different mechanisms in the camera work. It's really ingeniously designed with a clever use of gears and levers and cams. One of the most tricky parts was the mirror winding mechanism. It has a cam that needs to be aligned correctly, otherwise when you put it back together the mirror won't uh, fully charge. The shutter charging wheels were also difficult to figure out how they work. They need to be reinstalled with a little bit of pretension so that when the shutter curtains return uh, they hit a uh, small lever which releases the mirror so that the mirror can drop back down. The rest of this video I won't uh, have much commentary but I hope the video is useful if you have a camera like this that you're trying to repair. Although, be very careful, it's easy to break it, and if you break something there are no spare parts.
Thank you. 